what's going on guys it is your boy Sessa here with a video here today bringing you guys the valorant clean style twitch package thing regardless whatever if you guys click on this video if you guys check the description right now what should be there is basically a nice cool like pre-made starting soon screen ending screen offline screen and like a very simple overlay for you guys just gonna use you can just kind of work with but in this video i'm also gonna be teaching you guys how to actually do it customize it enjoy it of course the psc does not come out until 200 likes but also at 400 likes i'm basically giving out a cool valid resource pack that you guys can use for thumbnails of course other design projects all that good stuff that has like characters um, some patterns that I created, of course, uh, of course, some other um, like hex code stuff like that. You'll see some stuff in the video here today. Um, regardless, I do hope you guys enjoy. I tried a different little style where I kind of pop in and out um, to make it more of a quicker video. Please let me know if you guys enjoy that kind of stuff. I've been enjoying that. I've been seeing a lot of, re uh, I would say, more views and like likes and just overall interaction with you guys because it's a little more shorter. So if you guys do enjoy and keep on doing it, let me know in the comments section below. Love you guys. Thank you guys so very much for also for like the past support. These past month has just been like one of my best months and views and regardless thank you guys so very much i'll talk to you guys later enjoy the video peace all right so just before we actually start guys i wanted to give you guys a quick look into how you can get a very nice valorant style design going Starting with the hex codes, of course, most of the designs are focused on these. The blues, pinks, the lighter tones with these colors uh, will instantly give you a Valorant feel. Alongside with these two fonts that I actually have, I think they'll fit the game very, very well. One is obviously being Unisans. If you guys watched my Best Free Fonts or Designer series, you already know of that one. It, it fits the game very, very well. And the other one being Tungsten, which I kind of find that this is a very close related style to how they use for their actual heading and, uh, and character text, um, rather than that being, of course, a custom font. But I think Tungsten is a very good one that's very very close to the game so i definitely use that one as well now following is the text effect that i actually see them use you guys can probably see it a lot behind the actual characters usually the kind of crisscross pattern or whatever pattern that the actual text has usually corresponds with the actual character's powers but in this case using a very quick liquefy to kind of swipe through the text looks super super good and will give you that text effect as well but also making it more general than anything and lastly, for texture, they kind of just use this very simple text style, which is kind of like using a square and line pattern. It's very, very easy when you kind of see how it's distributed. And I've actually already done it, so I'm going to end up doing it for today's video is that when you guys hit 400 likes on this video, I will be releasing a... What? I, what, I just like automatically just change accents. I will be releasing a Valorant resource pack for you guys. And I kind of already have it like some character cutouts, some really cool in-game shots. Of course, I had access to like game files and stuff like that before the game was actually released. So hopefully you guys will find interest in that. And I'm also also put it on Twitter at SSOHQ if you guys want to follow me there as well. Regardless, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let's get this thing going and I hope you guys enjoy. So to start this off, guys, you're going to basically want whatever color scheme you'd like to work with. In my case, I'm going to be using the Valorant color scheme and simply want to square off all the separations of where you want the colors to basically be going. Now, what I mean by this, guys, is I want to kind of pop in every now and again and kind of give you guys some other variations and ideas, but you don't have to always have your margin be on the left-hand side. Of course, you can even have it be on the right-hand side or have it like more of the skinnier margin where if you don't want to have like any information, like I have in my example here, like the logo and like soon just kind of repeating. If you don't want to have that kind of stuff, you want to have your logo a little more smaller in the corner or have nothing, you can just leave the second little margin a little more smaller. Or you can have it be, of course, on the bottom where you can have like your social medias on the bottom. You can have starting soon or whatever uh, variation up top. And then, of course, you can also do more of like this cool, like vertical kind of style. Or if you want to have an, act uh, an actual character and like over here on the left hand side or even on the right hand side, floating in between both different color blocks might give you a little bit more, uh, more variation. Just I want to give you guys just keep your minds open. And uh, yeah, let's just keep this thing going. All right. So next up is basically setting up where you want your text to actually be sitting. For me, I went with the more of a left justified origin and even like added some color variation between the words starting and soon. Of course, to put more emphasis on the words that I want to stand out and that case was being soon. All right, guys. Now, following that, I want to go ahead and see the cool little effect that happens in the uh, dark margin over here. So I'm going to firstly do is, of course, I'm going to type my word in that I want in my margin. For me, it's going to be soon. OK, and I'm going to I'm going to kind of make sure this is kind of even on both sides throughout this little uh, simple little margin here. So I'm going to take my alt shift key drag this word down just like so it'll keep them on the same exact axis then i'm gonna do this a few more times you can see this number in between that happens you can kind of see these numbers pop up that is basically saying that this is going to be the perfect uh how do you say spacing in between each so that just means you got everything looking good okay so i'm gonna click on my last copy layer hold shift click on the original copy layer it'll select all the layers in between kind of size this up one more time then i'm gonna press Control e on my keyboard to merge it all together then i'm gonna go to where it says filter liquify i'm going to be using the first liquify tool on 35 size and taking my mouse and just clicking and then clicking and dragging right into the actual shape 
on different spots. I'm gonna go to the middle sometimes, I'm gonna go to the left sometimes, right sometimes, middle and left, why not? Press okay. That gives you guys a very simple kind of uh, general uh, text effect. It's not character centric, but this will work for what it needs to be. And then I'm gonna be using that nice other color scheme, that nice little light blue that we got from my actual, uh, how do you say, our resource pack here. And I'm gonna do it. And I'm just leave it just like so. And then we have ourselves this very clean looking, very just kind of silent, but just very nicely added text effect on the actual project as well. Now, since we're on the topic of text still, here's where you guys can pretty much add a cool little side margin text that basically can say anything that has to do with the current scene. For me, I just ended up putting stream starting and separating them a little bit alongside with adding a little box where I can put my logo inside again for just another added asset. Then all I ended up doing towards finishing this scene, I just added the squares and line pattern that you guys see a lot in the Valorant posts and even use the layer via cut option to actually separate the pattern that was on top of the dark blue side and change the color to be more grayish and muted. And to go a step further, if you guys actually make a new layer above the pattern and clipping mask that new layer to the pattern layer, you can go ahead and change your foreground color to white and go over a few spots onto that clipping mask layer and just kind of mix the colors a little bit and actually get a really cool little vibe going. All right, guys, so I'm going to pop in one more time to kind of finish this thing off. So the one thing that I absolutely do for sure is take these two things here like the stream starting and make this this nice little light pink like we have over here because I just want to focus on what's going on right here um, as in starting soon. I'm also going to make a new layer and use the rectangle marquee tool to make myself a nice white box that's going to kind of sit right over on the edge over here. Uh, Valorant loves to do this for, for their posts. If I just show one right now, you can see that they kind of love like the whole two uh, kind of boxes on each uh, individual side, excuse me. So I'm going to put mine right over here, not too big. I'm going to kind of make a little more skinnier right about here. I'm also going to actually even make another duplicate of one and put it on the bottom just like so to kind of add a little bit of flow there. And lastly, put another one because why the hell not a little bit kind of free flowing in the canvas just like this. Now, you can say you're done. If you guys don't want to add characters, you don't have to do that. You can just skip this part. But if you want to add some characters, I'm going to put it right above basically the background, just like so. Control V. I already have it in my nice little clipboard, right? You just kind of center it where you guys want it. Then you want to go to where it says your adjustments and you want to go to where it says gradient map. Then you want to right click this gradient map just like so. And I'm going to go ahead and use this gradient right here, which is basically the colors that you have see right here, this hex code right here. And on the right hand side is this pink right here. Press OK. Press OK again, and as you guys can see, it just adds this very subtle picture in the background, almost like you use like uh, an overlay on it, but just a nice little clean way of doing it. And overall, you're pretty much done. Like I do think this is like it's super freaking clean. I, I'm I'm enjoying it uh, a lot as in Valorant itself and the UI and all that cool stuff. Um, it's a very clean looking game, so of course I wanted to make a nice clean looking stream revamp, uh, stream revamp to go with it. I do hopefully you guys enjoy this kind of like different style where I pop in and out and kind of like get through the actual video a little more quicker. Um, even this part is going to be taking forever because I'm going to say whatever I got to say. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Of course, 400 likes on the video, like I said before, equals the Valorant resource pack. And I also want to put, of course, in the description right now without the likes is going to be that full revamp that you guys will see a nice little custom one that's or not custom, but pre-made one that you can just use for at least what happens on uh, on the 7th. If you guys want to stream something on the 7th or when there's an open beta, whatever, you know, regardless. So enjoy i do hope you guys do enjoy love you guys and i'll talk to you guys later so, so hq out do not forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking up guys later much love and right before i go when you guys want to do this kind of thing in a nice little intermission screen all you have to do is take all the assets that you guys see right here just like so so i'm gonna take all the free flowing assets combine them into a group just like this then i'm gonna actually take the canvas itself size by just using this rectangle marquee tool filling it in, right? Because the canvas size itself is 1920 by 1080. I can take this, shrink this down a little bit, put this in the center, or put this wherever you guys want it, on the left-hand side, right-hand side, in the center. And this is where you guys will figure out, hey, I want to put my text over here. Regardless, and that white space is where the camera goes. And you guys, just so you know, okay? Love you guys. Peace. Enjoy.